In Tokyo, they'd been waiting all night, the fatigue and tension showing in their faces. Finally, at 10 past five, the moment of truth. By Japanese standards, this is wild emotion. Those who said Tokyo didn't really want the Olympics should meet these people. I believed and I waited and now I'm happy, she says. I'm on top of the world, she says. Congratulations, Tokyo. In the damp early morning, the streets of Tokyo are a little more subdued. But here too, people are happy at the news. Yes, I saw the news this morning, she says. I'm surprised, but I'm really happy. People may not be dancing in the streets in celebration here in Tokyo this morning. That's not the Japanese way. But bringing the Olympics back here to Tokyo was never really about excitement. It's about safety. It's about knowing that come 2020, the stadiums will all be ready and nothing disastrous will happen. Or so everyone hopes. Japan now has seven years to get the Fukushima nuclear disaster completely under control. The world will now be watching what goes on here even more closely. Tokyo already has much of the infrastructure needed for an Olympics, world-class trains and roads and clean air. Even so, Tokyo 2020 will not be cheap. The stunning new Olympic stadium, designed by British architect Zaha Hadid, is expected to cost upwards of one and a half billion US dollars. Rupert Wingfield Hayes, BBC News in Tokyo.